So you want to bake beautiful tiny detail from a high poly mesh to a low poly one. Not a problem. Real quick, I learned how to do this from watching Ben Chakrala's video over here. Definitely check him out if you want to see a more longhand explanation of this process. Anyway, to start things off, first you're going to need to rename all your sub tools to include underscore low and then hit all low to set all of your tools to the lowest subdivision possible. Then go to Z plugin, FBX export, change it to all visible, which means everything with the eye turned on, smooth normals, and export it as a low poly version of your character. Once that's done, rename all the subtools to change from low to high. Click all high to change all your subtools to their highest subdivision level. And while you have all your subtools at their highest subdivision, go back to Z plugin, FBX export, and export the high poly version of the model instead. Now this will take a while. Like it took me like 30 minutes to export. Once everything has been exported, and if you have polypaint data that you would like to use as a color map with your polypaint active, if you go down to UV, you can determine how big you want the texture to be. Then under texture, just go to create from polypaint, then clone, and under texture, flip V and export it as a map. Then hit OK. Once everything has been exported, in Substance Painter, go to File, New, 4K, and import the low poly file as usual. Then once it's done, go to Texture Settings, Bake Mesh Maps, and under High Definition Mesh, set it to your high poly file. Turn it into 4K, and under Match, change it to Mesh Name, change Color Source to File ID, Apply to All, and Bake Selected Textures. Alright, the high poly detail should now be applied to your low poly mesh. Now if you have a color map that you would like to apply, just go to File, Import Resources, find the image, say it's a texture, then add it to your current project, then go to Layers, Fill Layer, and under Properties hold Alt and left click Color. Drag your texture into the color slot, and you're done. And if you have other objects, like skin, you do the exact same thing. Just import the texture in your resources, say it's a texture, then add it to your current project, click on the skin layer, add a new fill, go down to properties, hold alt and left click color, and drag the skin texture into the color. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.